Good evening, this is Corey Rothstein with the National Weather Service in Springfield, wanting to give you an update on the upcoming winter storm beginning tonight and continuing through uh, Thursday night as well. Um, latest on the storm, uh, we're looking at snow, storm total snow amounts over six inches over a wide swath of the area. Um, the heaviest amounts are especially going to be north of I-44, especially in areas towards Warsaw, uh, Truman Lake, Osage Beach, Lake of the Ozarks, and areas north of there. Uh, better chances for a freezing rain sleep mixture as well as snow is going to be more along and southeast of I-44. And uh, also going to be seeing some ice accumulations uh, being the highest over south central Missouri in places like Branson, Ava, and even into West Plains and portions of Oregon County. Um, that'll be upwards of a quarter of an inch as we get later into the event, and I'll show some graphics regarding that a little bit later. Uh, so the rain that we're seeing right now this evening should change over to a mix of freezing rain, sleet, and snow as we get into late tonight into Wednesday morning, and that's mainly going to start along northwestern portions of the area and slowly push southeast through the area during the morning hours on Wednesday uh, and into Wednesday during the day. Uh, the win wintry mix will primarily reach along I-44 by about 2 to 4 a.m. on Wednesday, so it's going to start changing over before we get to the morning commute on Wednesday. Um, and again, we're expecting mostly sleet and snow as we get into Wednesday night and Thursday as that freezing rain potential pushes off to the southeast. Um, and then the snow looks to gradually end as we get into Thursday night. So the main concern that everybody has is what are the snow months going to be and what are the impacts? Uh, right now, this graphic here shows what the expected snowfall amounts are right now. Um, again, you'll see that the heaviest totals, especially as you get up towards uh, Nevada, Warsaw, Osage Beach, Rolla, areas north of there will generally be the highest area of confidence for over six inches of snow. And some locations, especially over central Missouri, could see upwards of a foot of snow. As you get closer to the I-44 corridor and areas south, uh, that's where there's going to be a little bit of less confidence in the forecast snow amounts right now. Uh, main reason for that being, again, as you get further south, the sleet is going to be more of a factor. Uh, if the sleet onset comes on a little bit earlier, which the forecast has been trending to right now, um, generally expect to see the snow amounts increased slightly as we get uh, towards I-44 corridor and even in, down into Branson, Ava. Um, as you get further southeast into south-central Missouri, uh, especially West Plains and portions of Southern Shannon County, Oregon counties, that's where you're going to be seeing the least amount of snowfall potential. And the main reason for that being um, additional sleet potential as well as the highest freezing rain accumulations, which will also cut down on snow amounts there. Speaking of freezing rain, here is a graphic we have of the expected for freezing rain amounts uh, throughout this event. Mainly this, these accumulations are going to be coming uh, starting tonight and going through early Thursday morning. After you get past Thursday morning, most, if not all, the precipitation should be in the form of snow or even sleet if you get towards far south central Missouri. Um, as far as amounts, again, the heaviest accumulations of freezing rain look to be across south central Missouri and especially south of I-44. Um, north of there, you're tending to see more of like a thin glaze. And as you get further south, areas Springfield, Ava, Branson, and southwest again, or southeast again, I'm sorry. Um, the highest potential of freezing rain is going to be in those locations, and that's where you could see a tenth of an inch in ice, even upwards of a quarter of an inch of freezing rain in some locations. So regarding the snowfall potential, um, we'll show you some graphics showing where the highest probabilities are going to be. And looking at this graphic on the left, again, the confidence is very high that most of the area, if not all the area, is going to see at least a couple inches of snowfall. And that's especially true as you get further away from southeast or south central Missouri, where that freezing rain might play more of a factor. Uh, even as you get up into the six inches of snowfall range, this is where we're wanting to really focus on um, more of the winter storm warning, heavier snowfall accumulation potential. Again, is going to be much higher as you get um, into the Nevada even Pittsburgh, Nevada, Lebanon, Rolla areas, areas north of there. You'll see that Springfield is still on uh, some higher chances as well, but there's a gradient as you get southeast of Springfield um, for lower probabilities of seeing greater than uh, six inches of snow. And again, once you get up into the foot of snow range, the main focus here is most of the area has a very low potential to see a foot of snow. Um, 
while you might see some higher accumulations in the Truman Lake, Lake of the Ozarks area, um, the best potential for upwards of a foot of snow might be there. Uh, but again, the accumulations drop off pretty quickly as you go further south. So when it comes to precipitation types, uh, here we've got a timeline of the approximate transition from uh, rain to a wintry mix of freezing rain, sleet, snow, and then over to all snow, which is gonna be in your blue. So again, your, your locations that will see that transition the earliest are gonna be further north into central Missouri area, um, even west central Missouri, where you got Nevada, Warsaw, Sage Beach. Looks like by the morning commute, you're starting to change all the way over to snow there already, uh, where temperatures are gonna be a bit cooler earlier on in um, the period. Um, as you get further south, again, you go through Rolla, Lebanon, Pittsburgh, that tier of, of cities a little bit further south. Uh, that transition, while you still have the wintry mix going on during the morning commute, it looks like the, mo the more impactful snow looks like it arrives there as you get into Wednesday afternoon and then changes all the way over to snow Wednesday night into Thursday. Um, and then as you get farther south, again, a line of Joplin to Springfield to Marshfield, um, you, you'll see that the gradual transition gets later and later. And as, we, as you get into uh, south, southern Missouri, near the Missouri-Arkansas border, uh, portions like Gainesville, West Plains, Alton, and south central Missouri, uh, you might not even see a change over to snow until we get into late Wednesday night, even into Thursday morning. So what does this mean for impacts? Uh, because of the heavier snow loads, a lot of what you're seeing for the, hard, the highest impacts to uh, especially roads is going to be, uh, again, portions, moderate to major impacts, especially over south, central Missouri, uh, maybe even bleeding over into portions of I-44 corridor near Rolla. Uh, again, especially where you see the ice accumulations over south central Missouri, that's where you're going to see maybe the best potential for some power outages uh, due to the higher ice accumulations up to a quarter of an inch, especially there. Again, these hazardous, hazardous road conditions will be likely for the commutes on Wednesday and Thursday morning and evenings. Uh, so all, both of those time periods on both days. Um, the main focus is gonna be here. You'll probably see more of the impactful commute um, as I-44 and areas north uh, for the Wednesday morning commute, but then a more impactful as the heavier snowfall gets in, especially Wednesday evening into Thursday morning. Um, seeing Wednesday evening to Thursday morning is the main time to see the higher uh, impacts on roads and uh, the like. So not only are we dealing with snow and uh, ice, we're also dealing with cold temperatures and wind chills uh, as a colder air mass comes in with the system. So given breezy conditions that we're expecting as well, with wind gusts up to 35 miles an hour, uh, we could see some dangerous wind chills Wednesday uh, through Friday night. And again, um, wind chills, this graphic here is showing for Thursday, uh, Thursday night wind chills, which will be the coldest time period. You're seeing wind chills as cold as uh, negative five to negative 10 as you get into portions of extreme Southeast Kansas, Nevada area, uh, other portions of central Missouri as well. And then into the single digits and maybe even uh, the negative single digits as you get further south with the uh, slightly warmer locations, but still cold for this time of year across uh, South Central and Southern Missouri. And again, here's another look at those wind speeds that we're expecting. Uh, this will be the maximum wind gusts just for tonight. But again, this will be very similar as we get into uh, Thursday as well with the, wind, the gusty winds continuing. So again, 20 to 35 mile per hour wind gusts on Wednesday and Thursday and a combination of the, the winds and any ice accumulation in addition over, especially over our Southern portions of the, of the area could produce some power outages. And finally, uh, given that there's likely impacts, moderate to major impacts with the system, um, we don't recommend getting out on the roads, but we understand that there are people that will need to get out on the roads the next few days. Um, so if you do, just make sure to have a plan ready to go. Uh, make sure that you have fan, friends or family uh, that are aware of where you're at at all times. Um, being able to get your latest weather forecast, especially check road conditions. Uh, the MoDOT Traveler map in Missouri and the KDOT map in Kansas are a good way to get the latest conditions for the trip that you'll be taking if you need to take it. And then also, in case you may get stranded, if the road conditions do deteriorate or your car breaks down, just make sure to pack an emergency supply kit, which includes uh, sand, salt, uh, and maybe a shovel, some warmer clothes, just in case you do get stranded so that you're 
uh, ready to go. And if you have any other questions, uh, again, our website, weather.gov slash SGF, to get more of your forecast information there. Uh, that's all I've got for the briefing for today. We'll be doing another update, uh, potentially another update here within the following days as the system continues to develop and move through the area. And all right, have a great evening and drive safe.